Okay guys, so today is Susanna's birthday and, and we wanted to celebrate with all of you guys, so come and join us. The story, these two kinds of seeds. So, so there's the bitter seeds and the good seeds. So we're going to be doing a story about them. And then we're going to be making these cute little birthday cards. Um, I thought it would be a cool idea since it's my birthday also. So yeah, this is birthday. So without any further ado, we're going to get started. So let's dive right into the story now. So the story is about the bitter seeds and the good seeds. So there are two kinds of seeds. The bitter one is the one that are the bitter seeds are the worldly people and it describes the worldly people spiritually and the good seeds are people like us believers that teach around the word of god listen to the word of god worship god love god all of that stuff so the good seeds are the believers and the bitter seeds are the worldly people that follow the devil and are satanic so this is two kinds of seeds and jesus was our farmer and he put all the seeds in the ground so they can grow up believers but some people decided to take the wrong path and follow the path of the devil. And at the end, when the, when the second coming of Jesus, all of them will be judged into hell or heaven, and then all the bitter seeds, for example, bad people, are going to be going to hell, and they're going to burn in the lake of fire, and the other people, and the good people, the good seeds, are going to go to heaven, and will live an eternal life with Jesus. And that's the end of today's story. So now we're moving on to our activity for today. So you guys, right now I'm just adding a few little dots here and there to make it look like sprinkles all over around my card. And I made these cute little um, chocolates to represent my cake and how it looked. I did a purple because I didn't really have like a pink that um, looked alike my, like, like, like my cake. So I thought the purple would be nicer. And I think it looks really, really pretty. I do some little macarons here and there. And there's like these cute little stars that I added. And a few little dots as sprinkles. And these like little longer, uh, longer sprinkles also. I'm just adding a few different um, sizes of these little dots just to make them look like sprinkles. And, um, yeah. So we're almost done. Now I'm just going to go and the bigger ones. Okay, let me just make sure these are dry. Yeah, okay. So the bigger ones here, I'm just going to be making these cute little circles around them to give them a little bit of dimension and just like to give, like, make them look like the other ones around here. So. Just, okay, and the other big ones. Okay. So, now I'm going to be adding a little bit more texture to it um, by using one of these. This is a little darker. I'm going to use these one, this one. And I'm just going to add a little bit of texture by the marker so it gives it like a little bit more dimension. And, yeah. So, I'm just going to go outline it. And there we go, all done. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be putting on my teeth. Um, I already put three on, so this is gonna be the last one. And I'm thinking on putting it on like this. So yeah, um, it's gonna, it kinda looks weird that this one's big, but I guess it's okay. And so I'm done, and I made a little monster thingy. So you guys, this is my card. We are all done now. We're just gonna walk you guys how we did make made them and what was our like inspiration behind them, I guess. Um, so I basically um, made I wanted to make it look like my cake. 
So the, the, the little cake topper that was on top of my cake, I took it off and I pasted it right here and I thought it would look really pretty. I tried to find a pink that would um, match my cake, but I couldn't really find one that we had at the moment. So I decided to do a purple one and I used the, um, this purple paint marker and I just went in with that and then I also used these two um, markers to add a little bit of highlights here and there and then I used, I made like a little drip on top. First I pasted this, then I made a little drip and then I just decorated it. I made these little chocolates that were on my cake as well and then like the little macarons also to re represent my cake again. And then I made these cute little stars to make them look like sprinkles. Also these like little um, longer sprinkles and then the little dot sprinkles. And yeah, I think it looks really, really pretty. Um, you guys can also make it. Like all you guys need is a simple color that you can pick out. And then, and then you have happy, happy birthday, birthday sign. You can sign even print or, one out. Yeah, you can print one out or draw, draw one yourself. And yeah. So you guys, I made a little birthday card. But I didn't put happy birthday on it, which was stupid of me. And I forgot to put that on. But anyways, I made a little monster. It has some cool little four teeth because it's still a baby. It has four teeth. And then it has like six eyes. Six eyes. Yep, still a baby, but it has six eyes. <laughs> the spy capability. You can like see everywhere. And so yeah, that's my card. And first of all, I was using this like a little glitter glue because I couldn't find this glue, which Rosanna was using, and she didn't even no, tell I was, me. It was just sitting here. And this and is why it's so messy it. right here. And it wouldn't even stick properly. Then Rosanna was like, why aren't you using this? And I was like, you had it the whole time? She was like, yeah, I even told you that you should use this. And then I said, but you never told me about it. And then I was like, but I told you to use it. So now we're doing the moral of this story. The moral of this story is that, make sure you guys comment down below before I tell you guys. So the moral of this story is that just like there are two different kinds of seeds, we need to try to not be the bitter seed, not get worldly, not try to follow, we need to follow the word of God and walk on the right path so we don't get distracted by the worldly people and all the stuff they're doing and so we don't get distracted by them. So we need to keep following God, keep reading the word of God, keep worshiping him, worshiping him, so that we are on the right path, and we, the, uh, uh, when Jesus' second coming is here, and when we're going, and we, so we go to heaven, not hell, so because like just like the bitter seeds, so we don't go to hell, so we go to heaven. That's the most fake story. So now we're gonna be. So then, what are your plans for your birthday this year? So I was thinking that I could invite all my friends over, and we could do some fun activities. For example, making these cute little bracelets that I got, and got um, like a bunch of DIYs that we could do together. Also, um. You know, obviously, eat cake because why are you? Because um, the cake is the main part of the birthday, and mm -hmm. I made these cake pops also. They're like oh pink. yeah, yeah. As I actually saw them, they're like these pink cake pops, and they have like these sprinkles all over them. And I was thinking I they're, could give them uh, along pops. to my friend, give them to my friends along with their goodie bags. And yeah, that's why I planned it for my birthday time. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to comment below the more of today's story. Also subscribe to our channel. Give this video a big, big thumbs up. Smash Turn that, that like button. Post notification bell on so you get notified every single time we post or upload a new video. Also, I want to thank you guys for all the amazing wishes um, you gave to me in person, also online. And yeah, I just want to thank you all because they were so, so sweet and I love them. So thank you for that. See you guys tomorrow at the Temple of God Church Sunday School. Stay safe. God bless you. Bye. Bye.